Miami, Miami has lined, has lined up for the kickoff. kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Six-yard line. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. There he goes. And they make the stop at the 39. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Not much gained on that play because this safety did a wonderful job of getting up there and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. Number 28 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and seven. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it. He tackles him for a loss. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Excellent put. From the 15. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The Hurricanes have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. And down he goes at the 45. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Three down, three down. 34's the mic, 34's the mic. He's coming. Ready. 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 He's going to try and scramble. He's brought down in the open field. That'll make it seven and inches. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Hot, red 68, red 68. Caught out of the open. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Pitch play to the left. Nice run, and he's brought down. That brings him second and From the 31-yard line, second down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Makes the catch and look out. He's out of bounds right around the 30. That's a deal of one on the play. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Miami could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it's good! They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Miami's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Picks up a yard. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Ready! They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He might have a chance. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. Right back to the run game, and this time he's met immediately. Two yards on the play. That'll bring, bring up, up second, second and 12. 12. From their own 37 yard line. Second down. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Here we go. Quick throw to the tight end. Brought down at the 36 yard line. Number 34 takes him down behind the line. At the 36 yard line. That'll, That'll make it third, third and 13. 13. What? What happened? Go down, go down, go down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Check, check. Thunder. They bring him down around the 34 yard line. From the 44 yard line. First down. Here we go. Out of bounds around the 34 yard line. Scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. That is a loss of six on the play. Third down. Hey, you're going quick enough. Yes, out, son. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And this play is number eight on the drive. going to the tight end here on third down. It's not even about the defense not expecting it, because I think they did. It's about mismatches. He's probably bigger and stronger than the guy who's trying to cover. And he can't get away from the pressure. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That was a loss of two yards. That makes it third and 15. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 3 0 Miami. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Ready! All right, Black he wants it all going long. Throws and he's got a man. Touchdown.
splits the uprights with the extra point. So an 11 play, 76 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's on the run. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Boston College holds a four-point lead. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. his way to about the 28. A nice job on the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. That'll bring up third and inches. Third and nine. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. From the 20 yard line, it's second down. Big play, and it's first and goal. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Touchdown, Eagles. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. So those big guys are going to walk away knowing they had a big hand in that score. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. The Hurricanes have really got some work to do, I think, Kirk, in the second half, because from what we've seen from their quarterback so far, if he's their star, it's not shining right now, and they got to find somebody else to light up the sky a little bit. Well, I think collectively as a head coach, an offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, they're all going to have to get together and take some time to visit with this quarterback at halftime and try to find out if they can somehow get him going. And the other thing to think about is maybe this is where the running backs, maybe it's this is their week to take some of the pressure off him. Maybe the receivers, the offensive line. When your star isn't playing up to his abilities, he has a tendency to press. Somebody else has to step up their game and take some of the pressure off him. Tackle made at the 34. Gain of five on the play. That'll, That'll make, make it third and Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Four down, four down. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. The ball was underthrown. It was a good read. He just needs to find his rhythm back there and step and throw the football. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. The Eagles 
Eagles are sitting pretty now after getting off of that slow start at the beginning. Yeah, things were a little sluggish early, but my gosh, these last few series, they just seem to be, at this point, just kind of setting a tone and kind of having their way against this defense. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. First and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. Here's a handoff, left side. Loss of two by the halfback. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws out and through his hands. Number 10, the intended receiver. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Let's go. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's gonna throw. Dangerous throw, and this one's picked off. Brought down at the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. At the 44 yard line. Number 17 on the tackle at the 44 yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. I can see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. touchback. Boston College has put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Steps out of bounds at the 24-yard line. That makes it seven and six. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety, so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. The Hurricanes are going to call their second timeout. Go, 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 go. 
It's away, and it's a booming punt. You're always looking for the home run return, the big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Throws it deep. In the air. It's intercepted. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. Well, that's exactly what this defensive coordinator wanted to see. Somebody come up with a big play. Right when it looked like this team might be able to get back in the game, they come up with a big interception and maintain the momentum here in the first half. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. 14-3, Boston College. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The Eagles coaching staff has to be thrilled with that first half performance. I know they were confident. I'm sure they were optimistic. I'm not sure they could have envisioned going to the break with a two-score lead. So what does the coach say in that situation if, if he couldn't have been as wild as dreams expected the situation? Well, we know every coach has their little checklist of things they want to get accomplished, and they have their different halftime speeches for what they what they want to say if the situation's like this. I'm not sure if he drew one up for this. Up 14, heavily, you know, heavy, heavy underdog coming into this ball game. But, you know, listen, everything's gone right so far. And I think the, the plan or the speech has got to be, guys, Look at the score. We're up. We're, we're taking the shots from the big boys. We're good enough to be on this field. Come out for the next 30 minutes. Finish the drill. If you finish, if you finish this and you look up and we're winning, we just pulled a huge upset, and now we can get better girlfriends. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. The Eagles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. goes at the 41. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and 10. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. He's coming. Check him. Check him. And he's taken down at the 47. Number 47 makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Quick throw. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. 
Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Down at the 28-yard line. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Hey, check. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's wrapped up for the sack. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. This is the ninth play of this drive. Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Here we go! Oh, and he might want it all here and does! Oh, what an interception. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. This sophomore corner's got a ton of potential at that position. These coaches are really excited about what he'll do for the program over the next few years. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. They'll bring him down at about the 21. He gets rid of this one. From their own 21-yard line. Third down. Steps up in the pocket. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of seven yards. That makes it fourth and long. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. He scrambled. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. That's a great tackle. That's the 24. That's a game of 13 on the play. 
First down. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Let's go, hey. We're going Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Fires out. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 20. Little handoff. Three yard gain by the running back. That makes it third and three. Play is number eight on the drive. That makes it first and goal. Ready! Green 19! Green 19! One more quarter to play, and now they're just trying to hang on. 14-3, Boston College. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Three down, three down. 34 is the ball. They'll keep it on the ground again. They'll get him for a loss. From the 10 yard line, second down. This is the 10th play of this drive. Let's it fly. Incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. This should be an easy field goal. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Boston College is up by eight. He's scrambling. And they got him. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, second down. And he hits him hard at the 21-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Here we go. Check, check. Fox 2, Fox 2. Motion, motion. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump, bump. Looking for his man, incomplete. It's always tough trying to put the ball out of the defender's reach, but where your guy can still come down with it in bounds. It takes a lot more precision than it looks. Oh, excellent punt. 
And he's tackled at the 35. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the 43. That's a game made on the play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Less than three minutes in the game. He fights forward to about the 46. First and 10. Ball on the 46. Mike 34, Mike 34. Here we go. Check, check. Big dog. Motion, motion. Big dog. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. Complete and pushed out of bounds behind the line. That brings up second and 13. He passes it. Great concentration to pull it in. And he will score. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary, but the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. Very important play coming up, and if they can get these two we yards, go. we'll have a tie ball game. Scrambling around, and he's in for two. Two fantastic plays in a row. First the touchdown, and now the conversion. What a turn of events this late in the game. Miami is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, that's what it's all about for these guys. If you can turn up the pressure, you'll create more chances for your defense. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. One thing the defense doesn't want to do here is allow any big plays. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Run left side. Tackle at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. He airs it out. The defender had it and then dropped it. Number 14 was the intended. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. There he goes. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From the 43-yard line, first down. And he's level at the 49-yard line. He's, 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 big dog! Big dog! That'll make it second and one. He's taken down at the 33.
from the 33 yard line. It's first down. Quick throw to the tight end. And they make the stop at about the 25 yard line. That makes it second and two. We have less than a minute to go. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Makes his way out to about the 15. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Folks, we're either going to see victory with this field goal or overtime. Here we go. The kick is up. He got it. They win. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 17-14, Eagle. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Good teams will normally find a way to win a game at the end. But for whatever reason, they couldn't get the job done today. Credit those guys on the other sideline for executing a great game plan to perfection. Boston College got these guys into a dogfight, and in the end, they just wanted it more. They made the plays they weren't supposed to make and won a game nobody thought they would win. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.